Tiger ready and we are underway and that one stroked to right. Diggs is there into a dive and he made the catch. And a big smile from Kendall. One pitch, one out, one very nice play. Here's a payoff. Wave and a miss. How about some really big spin rate? 26.57 on that 82 mile an hour breaking ball. See those hands held high by Petri, the two strike pitch. Outside corner, strike three called. How about that inning from Brady Tiger? Josenberger is going to swing and come up empty. Strikeout for Mahoney. Later on in the season, so you don't want to rush anybody back. Casas hit by a pitch and for the Gamecocks. Pitch from Tiger. Rolls in that breaking ball, nearly 2,700 RPMs on the spin rate. One two pitch, there's the breaking ball. Little flare to shallow center. Josenberger was deep, he'll get there. That hammy looks good. He's ready to roll, and the pitch is hit off Mahoney. Knocked him down like a bowling pin. Hold is safe, and let's hope Mahoney is okay. That one just about took him out. Mahoney seems to have survived his scare. Two strike pitch, he's gonna come back and carve up Roland on three pitches for a K to end the inning. There's Will Tippett from Stone Mountain, Georgia. A liner over Bolton in the left center. That is the first hit for the Gamecocks. Lead off single. Wave and a miss. How about 37 pitches? An economical three scoreless innings for Brady Tigers. I would say don't take that shoe off, or if it would swell up, you might not get it back on. Bolton hits one down the line. Into the corner, this is gonna roll all the way to the track. And John Bolton has a double to begin the bottom of the third inning. Just his fourth double of the season. As Josenberger bats and lays down a bunt, picked up by Mahoney, test that foot, he'll make the play. Retired Josenberger. Strike three called. Good job by Mahoney to come back from a 3-0 count to get the K. And even 60 hits for Borfitt on the season. A play for Brewer. He's underneath it, and the inning will end. So the Razorbacks got a leadoff double, and they do not score. We played three innings. Uh, do my job. Gage, oh, my. Petrie took one good. off his elbow, so another hit batter for these Gamecocks. When he told me that I needed to start acting like I was here for a reason and because that would make me start doing my job and increase my performance, and it really did because. Did that even feel a little more intense? Hold on, there's a ground ball to right a base hit by Casas. Here comes Petri around third. He's going to score the game's first run, and South Carolina has three straight base runners and a run in the fourth inning. And, you know, last night if you were watching, like when I came in in the sixth, I was uh, – I was, my velo was a little lower, and then once I got to the eighth and ninth inning, it just it just started, it kept climbing, you know. I, my average fastball was higher. I think that's why they're having a lot of success. Here's the 2-2. There it was, but LeCroy swung through it, and McIntyre gets his first out on his 16th pitch. This is a team that has lost five straight overall, including that game to North Florida midweek. Chopper to Cali, he can't get there. A base hit, here comes Casas around third. The throw from Borfin is cut off. It's a three-run inning for South Carolina. On all singles. I know they do it in the college ranks. It feels like May's late for that. Wave it a miss by Braswell in again. So McIntyre gets the K. Came to South Carolina. There's another one that nearly got Mahoney. I thought he threw that leg out there like he was trying to stop it rather than get out of the way. But fortunate he didn't get struck again. Steps in, he was the one that hit Mahoney earlier. There's a ground ball to the left side, fielded by Braswell. His throw to second will force Slavens to end the inning, so the Hawks get a hit. Brewer waves and misses. He has struck out all three times today. So uh, Bill got to witness Chris Bryant watching Petri, and Petri angry, Troy. He must have been looking for something else. He just took strike three on a run since then. That's strike three to Roland. Nice pitch from Mahoney. He will take ball four, and that's a two-out walk. A 2-2. Two -two. 
That's over the inside corner, strike three. Digs down looking. McIntyre gets strike three called. Lee Croy can't believe it. McIntyre has set down seven straight. When he had to make that scoop. Kelly floats one out to left. Here comes Brewer. He'll make the catch in the heart of the lineup. Quietly disposed of again by Mahoney. That's where his hard work came from. That was a wave of the miss as Tippett will K. See what McIntyre throws, 3-2. He left that one up, ball four. Snow not going, strike three ball. Seventh K for McIntyre. The 1-1 one -one to Brewer. That's a big chopper to Holt. He has to back up on the outfield grass. But he will throw up Brewer. Just three hits for the Hawks. Maybe a fourth. He beat the shift by Tippett, who was way out there and right. That ball was hit so hard, had Tippett made the play, he may have thrown out Slavers. Well, that was Dominic's number. It's also Peyton Holt's number, and he's got a base hit. That looked like Luis Gonzalez in game seven. It barely got to the grass, but it's a base hit. What a great analogy. Pitch from Mahoney. Comeback handled by Mahoney. There's an out at second base and a double play. Another one back at Mahoney. This one he's able to handle, and they turn two. Here's a payoff to Bolton. Wave and a miss. Mahoney does it again. Gave up a couple of singles to start the inning. Gavin Casas. Swing and a ball that gets away from Polk. He has to track it down, and then he slipped. Casas didn't run, so if Polk just gets to that ball, he's going to throw him out. Then he kicked it further away and didn't have to pitch in the eighth or ninth innings. So it saved the bullpen. This is going to be a tough play for Cali. Can't get the ball out of his glove. Somebody has to cover third, and Bolton's there, and that is a mistake by Casas. Where was he going? And the Hogs have a free base run. Hammers one into right for a base hit. Chosenberger will score, and Gorfin has driven in the first racer back one of the game in the eighth inning. How big was the walk and the ball in the dirt? The wild pitch allowed Josenberger to get the second base. Diggs does his job and moves him up. And Scores on the base hit by Jace Borfin. Wave and a miss. Leadoff walk ends up resulting in a Razorback run, but again, a runner left in scoring position. And yeah, McIntyre, he does get in a lather. 3-2 pitch off the corner. That's the area that Eddie Newsom's given today, that pitch that's been out that he's called a strike. Payoff pitch from McIntyre. Strike three. And the Gamecocks do not add to their lead. We go to the bottom of the ninth. But he's facing Veach, the changeup artist, for the first time. And might be a harmless, whoa, Stone slip, but he was able to stay on his feet. Replace your divot, but that's a quick out in the ninth inning. Who they've rolled out there has been very impressive. Stroke to center, right at Stone. He'll have to back up, though, to make the catch. Oh, carried on him. Wave and a miss, and the Gamecocks even up the series at a game apiece. Fantastic job by Mahoney and Beach to take game two. Yeah, really big win for South Carolina.